day everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick from the Commodore Amiga and we're looking at Ed the Duck Tool back with a quack, published by Zeppelin Games in 1992. Now I've already reviewed the first game Ed the Duck which was well rubbish, that was by Impulse about a year or so before. It's a platformer and this time Ed the Duck finds himself in the Wild West. I don't know why, but here he is. He was a glove puppet uh, alongside Andy Crane, I think Andy Peters mainly for the BBC. Here he is with another attempt at a game. First one was rubbish. Uh, let's see how the second one plays. Uh, the graphics are quite a bit better than that first game. A little bit floaty as we jump about, but it's a side scroller and we must get from one side to the other and I've died already. Right, now I think there's some power-ups to collect as well. Let's just see how this plays. It's the Wild West, is Ed the Duck. Oh, that's interesting. So we can fire pies in the enemy's faces, which seems to, um, well, stop them. But anyone, any hit and we're dead. Hmm, what's this like? Well, it's not the most exciting game in the world, but it seems to be okay. If you're a fan of Ed the Duck, you probably would have got on with this one better than the first game anyway, which was like a bad attempt at Rainbow Islands to a degree. We're in the Wild West, we're a duck. Duck fans, well that could be an extra life that head, I think it was. So you see my le my lives are in the bottom right I think. We've got seven pies left, as you can see, it, well the lives in the bottom right, pies left in the bottom left. If we run out of those, we have no pies, that's it. Right, six pies left as we go over that lightning thing. Jump on the barrels. So we're getting some sort of distance. It'd be good to try and get off level one. That'd be interesting to do. There's another pile on there we need to jump on somehow. There's a hat there which will kill us. Well, there's an extra pie, I think. Might have been an extra pie, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get to the top of here. It's weird that the enemies are hats. Well, it's like someone actually in a hat that's bars too big for them, so they've cut some eye holes in it. That's interesting. Uh, it's crying out for some music, I think, this game. All seems a little bit quiet on the Western Front, pun intended. Hmm, I'm, I'm getting bored already. But let's, let's see where the frustration lies. It might be that um, the game gets a bit better later on. But yeah, massive improvement over the first game, but still one I wouldn't have played back in a day, I don't think. Right, there's some circling heads there. Can we shoot them with the pies? Ah, right, okay. Odd sound when you die. It sounds like a, like a, a cuckoo clock or something. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Right, so we regenerate. Oh, I didn't have a hope there. That's a bad place to regenerate. Game over, right? It respawned me in a place where I just wasn't going to survive. We'll have a few more goes at this. I wasn't a big Ed the Duck fan, but I can see why people would have been. I was more into Gould and the Gopher. Ed the Duck was the pretender to the throne to me. Uh, nice music at the start. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, it's not very uh, epic game. I think it's very average, this. I might be being a bit cruel. I try to see the good in most games that I play. Um, but now I've reviewed, well, hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands. Um, I got a bit of a comparison of what's good and what isn't. And uh, this is just, well, sort of like doing the bare minimum. I mean, the graphics, the graphics are good. The shading is nice on it. It's up there with them. It's just, uh, I don't understand why it's in the Wild West. Boop, 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 boop. Right. What is that thing above above me? Some sort like of weird slimer sort of like creature. But now it's been pied to death. I like the graphics in that train. And we got hit by those flaming, whatever they are, flaming tangerines, if that is such a thing. How can we kill this? Now, below us, um, oops, if we fall on that barrel below us, we will die. We can, but there's some handy levels in the sky. Nice shading in the sky. It's not all one color. It's a nice shade of red. Go over this electricity pile on. Right, okay, so doing a bit better than last time in the case that we're just going over the rooftops. I think that's the way to do it. Try and stay off the ground. Don't know what that enemy is. Looks like a pair of pliers. It's not like Super Mario where you can land on the enemy and they will die. Now, if you have this one back in the day, let me know. You probably could have played it a few times as a kid and got a bit further than what I'm doing now. These reviews are always in the standpoint of what your first or second go would have been like, what your first impressions would have been, to see whether you would have gone back and played this ever again. Now, the only reason I would have played this again is if I didn't have many other platformer games. If I didn't have any other platformer games, it would have got, well, a few goes. 
until something a bit better um, come along. So if you compare it to the great um, Gina Sisters, Zool, it's not up there with those. Super Frog's a lot better, but I'm saying I'm saying a load of really good games. You've probably got your favourites as well. I doubt too many people will have Ed the Duck 2 back with a quack uh, in uh, their t uh, top top set of games for platformers even. Right, BBC, it says 1989 they're Ed the Duck the copyright, but um, you know, it's Ed the Duck 2. 1992 Zeppelin games. Maybe that was a copyright of the original game or when the license was, was bought out. Ed, there he is. Uh, a few of you might be Ed the Duck fans out there. Um, he didn't really get the game uh, he deserved. Could have been better than this. It looks a bit like a haunted version of Ed the Duck here. It looks a bit scary. If it was a late at night and the torch went on the face of this Ed the Duck, you'd think, I'm not going out ever again. He quacks every, every so often, doesn't he, when he jumps? Listen. No, he dies. The cuckoo clock's out again. Andy Peters or Andy Crane don't feature in this. Oh, as far as I'm aware. Boom. Right. Three Eds, seven pies. Sounds like a football score. Over the roof we go. That's the way to do it. As, um, who used to say that? Sooty from the Sooty Show. I don't think there's any... Is there any Sooty and Sleep games? Maybe. I mean, oh, that... People gave us a bit of a false field, I think. But it didn't last very long. Hmm. Oh, man. It didn't last at all. Right, that's two, two cheap lives lost there. Let's get over this hat, man. Can't get on that. Oh, Nicky. Eh? That's game over, isn't it? No, one life left. Yeah, one life left. My favourite Ed is Ed209. Now, you know. Ed Tudor Pole was a good one, but uh, Ed209 first. Uh, um, Ed, I don't know, in the Battle of the Eds. All I'm saying is Ed the Duck isn't at the top three. Despite I can only think of two other Eds. Should I have one last go on this? I, this is the best bit, these graphics, because it goes up and down the screen. Duh, 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 duh. Ed the Duck, trademark. Zeppelin. Hmm. Right, this is it. We'll do it this time, I'm sure. Will we? Maybe not. What do you think of this game? Always likes hearing what you think about it. It's just it's just too plain average for me. It, it looks pretty enough from the screenshots. It's just it's just not doing enough stuff. I like I like the pie idea. That's good. But was Ed the Duck known for throwing custard pies? I don't think he was. So two rather average games for Ed. Uh, there wasn't a third one that I'm aware of. Uh, second one is a lot better than the first one. That just tells you how bad the first one was. Um, if you want to see the first one, I did review it um, a few weeks ago. Check out the Amiga Games playlist or just do a search, Ed the Duck in Jenkin or something on the channel. Da, 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 da. Not quite sure how many levels this has got. He's back with a quack and, um, you know, I wish he hadn't have done. Never mind. Never mind, I. Over this hat we go. I mean, there was no TV show for Ed the Duck that I'm aware of that had this Wild West connection. Maybe the next, maybe he's going all over the place. Maybe the next stage will go somewhere else. But judging by the theme music at the start, and it was a desert, I think he might stay here the whole time. And I don't think I'm going to get past these heads at all, am I? No, see, that's impossible. It looks like it's a, it's a nice power up there of those. Yeah. It's a nice power up there of those horns. Goodness gracious me. Right, I'm determined, I won't complete this first level, but I'm, I'm determined to get past those two rotating heads there. So yeah, this will definitely be the last go. I'll do it this time, I'm sure. As I told you the last time, it won't happen again. Trust me, folks, if you can do. Right, that building's closed for repairs. That bullet machine doesn't work. All we got is custard pies. Now, if you was in the Wild West and only armed with custard pies, I don't think you'd last very long. If you remember that ZX Spectrum game, The Wild Bunch, um, you know, you couldn't buy custard pies from the store. Could buy a point one of a horse, though. Right. Wild Bunch didn't come out on the Commodore Amiga, which is a shame. Would have done really well. That's something for a home brewer, brewer to maybe convert. Right. Off to these wires. Away we go. Now, why can't Ed the Duck just fly over this? I don't know. Ducks can fly, can't they? So why would a duck be bothered with a platform game when they could just fly to their destination? Don't know. Maybe the BBC clipped his wings to try and get him to work harder and not to disappear. That's what the BBC's like nowadays. Citation needed. Right, a pie stops that hat. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, could they have been stopped with a pie? Oh, come on. That's one of them. Come on, get the next one. 
time this. I don't know how long that pie lasts forever, I think. Oh, uh, no, I don't, oh, look at that, see? And now I've got no pies left. Curses, maybe I can get on the, yeah, see? You can't even get on, you can't even get on the barrel. Look, I'll try and get on the barrel and get across, but you can't, because those things are circulating. Du, 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 du. Annoying game. Hooray for annoying game. Items collected three, it says. Or whether I've got to collect three. I, I'm hating this game now. I'm hating it more than it more than it really um, deserves. One. Right, at last. We're past this bit. That's a, that's a power-up. So, all right, items have gone down to two. So you've got to collect three items in total. We'll avoid those pies. I haven't got time for those. Two items left to... Oh, man. I got electrocuted. Right, one item left. Electrocuted again. Get going, Edge. You need one more item. Hopefully it wasn't that pipe. Oh, there's, there's a third item up there, which is that hat. How do we get up there? Exit. Should we get off the level now? No, see, look. We need that third item, which is that top hat up the top there. So, quite obviously, we need the trampoline... And then with the fin controller, we can get past him. He's saying you can't go through yet. Right, how do we get up here? Come on. Need to get up there. Maybe if I do a high jump and fall down, that might work. Right, a high jump and bounce off that thing. No, I'm still not going up the height. Oh, now I'm getting really annoyed now. I know I've been run over by the thing. And now it's game over. Oh my god, I hate this game. Hate it more than it deserves. You might like it a bit better than me, but I'm not a big fan of it. Avoid this game, I would say. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Ed the Duck 2, back with a quack. Rather lacklustre, in my opinion. Uh, published by Zeppelin Games in 1992. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're more than welcome. And until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fun. Goodbye! Goodbye!